What's going on, everybody? I hope everyone is doing well this afternoon. I am here with a very special guest today. I am here with the founder of Daytona Finance with the name of Slash Dot. Slash, how you doing today, brother? Not bad, Corey. Thanks for having me on here. I've been looking forward to this for a couple of weeks now. Um, you know, especially you know, give my users uh, a voice at least behind the the slash and the dot. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I know that we've been planning this for almost a month now, so I'm glad to finally have you on, brother. So I, I guess my first question to you is I want to ask you what, for those who may not know, what is Daytona Finance and how does it add value to Pulse Chain? Like, can you give a little synopsis of what it is? Yeah, for sure. So uh, Daytona Got Finance, um, it's a yield farming platform. It's very similar to what Pulsex did, does with their their farms um, mm -hmm. or Pancake Swap. If anyone's familiar with that, it's one of the most famous ones available. Simply put, you know, you take your your tokens you have on your MetaMask or your DeFi wallet um, connected to Pulse Chain. You can come to our platform, and we allow you know you to stake various tokens into our pools and earn yield um, in our native token called Tony. Um, so how this works is essentially every single block on Pulse Chain. So Pulse Chain has 10 second blocks. So every 10 seconds, uh, 20, Tony is, 20 Tony token is minted um, and it's distributed to all the pools um, on our DAP based by weight. Um, so the weight, if anyone's ever been to Daytona or any of these before, you'll see a little multiplier on most of these pools with a number beside it. That's the weight. Um, the higher the weight, the more tokens get distributed to it. Um, and essentially, <clears throat> after you stake your tokens in there, um, every 10 seconds, you're, you're going to have a portion of that yield, and you're going to be able to, to click a button, harvest it, and get it to your wallet instantly. Um, you know, you can do this 100 times a day if you want to, or once a week. It's really up to the users. Um, that's pretty much how it works. It's it's a very simple DAP. Um, you know, it's, it's been done a few times. So, you know, Pulsex, they're the premier one on Pulse Chain. Um, but I'll tell you how how the Tona adds value to Pulse Chain. Um, yeah, so, so let me, our, yeah, let go me, ahead. Oh yeah, I'm oh, sorry, yeah, I, I didn't realize that. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so yeah, so like, how, how, how does the Tona add value to Pulse Chain? Um, so our primary, our primary focus is what is and was always to help Pulse Chain and, and PulseX grow um, by giving users more options um, to do stuff with their tokens um mm -hmm. so like you know on pulse x rh or richard will you know he's probably only ever going to put his tokens to farm on on there but you know there's right. there's so many tokens um and there's all these different communities and everyone wants to stake the token and earn some yield um so you know that's that's where we stepped in um and from the start i never wanted to compete with pulse x um so by compete with pulse x would be you know i never wanted to start a dex um, so if you start your own decks, you know, you're essentially competing with them and you're basically doing a vampire attack. Um, you're basically, you know, you're, you're sucking liquidity out of them. You're incentivizing users to come to your platform, take the liquidity and put it in your platform. And, you know, that, that doesn't help anyone. Um, uh, so I never wanted to go that route. So we, we were basically, you know, we piggybacked off of PulseX um, right from the start. And this was, you know, by design. Um, and, it, you know, it helps create more liquidity in PulseX um, and you know, more liquidity means less slippage for everyone on the network. And, you know, this is, that's, that's great. That's what you want. It allows you to do bigger trades. And um, so, like, I, I, I tell people this, a few, like, all the time. Like, I like to think of the Tona um, as, like, an expansion pack or a DLC for the PulseX, PulseX exchange. Um, you know, we give users alternate options to stake their tokens that are not listed on PulseX to earn yield. Um, you know, and our, our top feature is the, the beloved and sought after single side staking. Um, you know, everyone you played with this on testnet because um, Richard gave us to it, gave it, gave us us there, but he has yet to deliver this on, on live yet as of now. So, so let me ask you this then, because, you brought up all these all these features, and I'm really grateful for that. And then that, that it does add value to Pulse Chain by adding more um, user participation and user utility surrounding Pulse Chain and Pulse X, which is fantastic. I think that different projects, no matter what they are, whether they be um, uh, uh, yield farming protocols, whether they be new dexes, whether they be uh, meme coins, I think they all add inherent value to Pulse Chain and Pulse X. So I want to ask you, mm -hmm. where did the inspiration come from? to create Daytona Finance and out of all the layer ones, why Pulse Chain? Okay, so 
Um, I'm an OG Hexkin. Um, I got in the AA lobby, I think it was the first week, maybe like day like six. So I, I've been in Hex since the beginning. Um, you know, I set up my Hex ladders and I rode Hex all the way up 10,000 X and all the way back down. Um, and I loved it, man. It was, it was a really good time. You know, I'm sure all, all the Hex skins, post skins, you know, they, they agree. It was, we had it, we had a blast, especially at the top there. <laughs> um, I also sacrificed for Pulse Chain. I sacrificed for Pulse X, and I'm, you know, I'm a member of the community. Um, I'm, you know, a strong member. I, I, I got a lot of my, I onboarded a lot of my friends into, pull, uh, sorry, into Hex. Um, I got some of them to sacrifice for Pulse Chain. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just a Hexican. Um, so, my, I'm also like a very early like DeFi. Uh, user, um, you know, I started playing around with DeFi since the in, the inception of it before Uniswap even came out. Um, nice. So, like a long time ago, 2019. It's a long time in uh, crypto years, but uh, 2019, Tron was the hot blockchain at the time, and there was so many of these DApps came out at the time, um, and that that was basically my introduction to DeFi. And that was early, man. Um, yeah, so I, I started getting I started getting into I started getting into those. And but basically at the time most of them were like these like Ponzi type contracts where you know you put something in, there's a fee and it gets juiced through to everyone else. And then the other big thing they had was these gambling gaps. Um since mm -hmm. you could gamble and you, you could mine their tokens and you could take their tokens and you could stake it. Um so I was really big into that. And then you know, Uniswap came out and basically I've been into DeFi like so hard the whole time but out of every single thing on DeFi, all the things my favorite were these farming dApps by far they're so fun they're very very simple but they're so fun you know you, you you know you wake up every morning you're like oh how much yield do i have and i'm gonna go collect my yield then you're like you strategize what you're gonna do with it so mm -hmm. as soon as i sacrificed for pulse chain i was like okay i'm gonna i'm gonna be the first one to offer an alternate um farming protocol I, I knew richard was going to do it so i wanted to be the first one to, to all, you know give, give everyone this farming thing that, you know and i was like i'm gonna have all the tokens all the popular tokens on the chain everyone's gonna have i'm gonna have all of those mm -hmm. um and yeah man i you know i love hex and the pulse chain community and you know i just wanted to help it succeed and you know i'm here no and i, I appreciate i appreciate your history I, I didn't know that you were a day one uh, basically and, and i appreciate you highlighting that because i think it's very important for people to know the history of project founders within this community because sometimes oh, yeah. transparency is obviously very important when it comes to projects especially no matter what chain you're on especially when cryptocurrency and blockchain a lot of projects tend not to succeed they tend to not uh be uh legitimate in a lot of ways so hearing that is very refreshing yeah. so i i want to ask you the intricacies of daytona finance i know i know that you um i know that you highlighted this a little bit before but I want to ask you if there was, uh, I guess you could say, one standout feature does it have that makes it a prominent DAP in that in this particular sector? If there was one um, or two. Yeah, so obviously our most standout feature, I just said it, there's our single side staking. Um, yep. You know, everyone wanted that. When Pulse X came out, everyone wanted, everyone was looking for it. They're like, where, where is single side staking? Where is it? Where is it? You know, and say it wasn't here. So. You know, I, I, you know, we were first to market. Um, we launched Daytona on base. I think it was the day the bridge opened, and that was by design. I didn't want to do it first day. I wanted to do it when the bridge opened. Um, of course. Uh, and you know, <clears throat> that basically being first to market, I think it gave us a huge advantage, uh, and I think it actually it helped Daytona be a, a massive, massive success. Um, you know, Daytona was huge. Uh, you know, the first month of Pulse Chain, man. It's like I couldn't even go out. when I went down my Twitter feed. It was all Pulse Chain, or sorry, it was all Daytona. It was, it was, it was a massive, massive success. Um, yep. But yeah, like yeah, definitely, yeah, the single side staking and you know being first to market and uh, you know, I, and I, the thing with me too is I was I was always part of the community. Um, so I was with the community, talking Telegram every single day, constantly um, taking feedback from users, adding new features. Uh, you know, we would do. Uh, polls um, to see which which new tokens get added uh, to the to the to the farms, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it, like I think yeah, being being really close to the community, I I, I think is also a really good feature. Um, I don't see it that much in other projects, but I try my best, man. I I basically 
you know, I, I lead, I lead it, I dev it, I try, I, the whole, I basically do the whole thing. Um, and, you know, it's really, really, it's really, really fun too. I had, I, I'm having a blast with it. Um, I've actually had a lot oh, of fun. I can with imagine. But a lot of fun with Fulcher. It's, it's the most fun I've had, you know, in crypto in well, at least a year. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been really, really fun. So it's a roller coaster, as, as I, everyone can see. Yeah, that's, that's true. And, but, and uh, I was, yeah. I was, I was going to ask this question close to the end, but you brought it up, and, and I think it's very important to discuss this because it's the market wants this a lot, it seems like, and you were the first to bring this up to people um, through Daytona Finance, and we see this with PulseX, and it's not present. And what I'm talking about is single-sided staking. Um, mm-hmm. I want to ask you, in your opinion, since Daytona Finance has single-sided staking, you guys didn't get a billion dollars in sacrifice uh, funding. No, you guys we did no sacrifice. That. You guys did no, no, sacrifice. no sacrifice. No, yeah, no sacrifice, no pre-sale. Um, I had some dev coins I made it for myself. Yep. I, I didn't even use them. They, they're literally still there. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, so, so yeah. You, yeah. So my question to you is then, with a product that has a billion dollars in funding, why mm-hmm. doesn't, in your opinion, given the fact that you've created single-sided staking for yourself, I mean, not for yourself, but for your product, why do you think PulseX has not had single-sided staking yet? Well, why do you think the delay is occurring? Yeah, so this this is a very interesting you know, question. It's probably controversial. Um, but what I think is, my best guess is Richard, he wants people to sell. He doesn't want that. He... he Rich is like a big guy. He he said it in many streams. Um, he wants he launches something. He wants to shake out the weak hands. He said it multiple times, man. He did it with Hex too. He he wants to shake out the weak hands um, early. So you know, preferably at the bottom, scare everyone, scare the you know the living lights out of every single person holding Pulse or Hex or whatever. And, and people are scared right now because it's down yeah. hard. Yes. Um, and I, I think that's by design, man. I, th- I think he wants people to sell at the bottom. In my my personal opinion, that's that's what I think. And if you add sing- if you add single side staking, you're incentivizing people to hold, not to sell. And like in that, so like you know, if you offer someone single side staking and yield on it, like you know, they're they're happy. Even if the price is going down, people are happy. They're getting their yield, and they get something to do every day. Like they're mm-hmm. happy with that, so they're less tempted to sell. And that, the, honestly, man, that's what I think it is. I think he's he's just trying to shake people out. Um, he did it with Hex. He's he's mentioned it many many times before. You know, Hex. How many times? Hex did like you know ten eighty percent dips on the way up. It was right. a roller coaster. It was also a magic carpet ride. It was fun. But uh, <laughs> that that's what I think, man. I and I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna. He's gonna drop single size staking um, eventually. Probably. Of course, you know, so once we start we, we we start trending up again. And he wants people to hold now. Yeah, man. I think he's. I think he's gonna drop it, and I think it's gonna be a massive success. Um, I'm sure the day he, you know, he puts it out there, you know, pulse sex is. is I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be pulse sex at least in the single side. It'll probably, it'll probably go crazy, man. And I. And That's I my best guess. I'm sorry. That's my best guess. Um, go on though. No, no, no. And I, I appreciate that. That. Type, that. 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 I guess you could say presumption because I know many people like myself have been curious about it. And as an individual like yourself who has created something that has date that has single sided staking, you have a lot more experience and understanding of what goes into creating it than I do, hands down. So I appreciate your perspective on that. And I, I want to talk to you about another uh, token. I want to talk to you about the token that you highlighted, which is Tony, native token of yeah. Daytona. A- and how does it work? And what is its utility and what is the incentive for individuals to hold it? Yeah, so the Tony token, it's the uh, the native currency of Daytona. Um, it's actually named after Tony Montana. If you haven't noticed, uh, Daytona has like an 80s Miami Vice, you know, gangster yes. type scheme. And I thought it was very fitting. Uh, the ticker looked really, really cool too. <laughs> it was actually the last Absolutely. thing I did. I, I, didn't, I didn't name it Tony until I think it was like maybe like five days before release. I, like I had it. everything planned Every single thing was planned out except for the name of the thing. I even had the, uh, you know, the logo of it. I was just like, what do I name this thing? Anyways, I picked it. Um, so, sorry. Uh, so for utility, um, essentially, like how Tony works is, yeah, I was saying before, you know, every every block 
2020 are minted and they're distributed through all the pools on our webs on our on, on our DAP. I think we have like 40 pools. So there's like literally 40 different options people can, you know, come to and stake their tokens. But the Tony pools in particular, they have a very high weight compared to everything else. Um, let me let me check. Like the the single sided staking Tony pool has a weight of 27, mm -hmm. where something like uh, let me see. Uh, P Hadron or Hedron has a one X. So like, and about all the 20, to 20 tokens that get distributed, you know, if 20, like 20, like 27, you know, X is going to go to Tony. So it's like picture there was a hundred and we only had two pools. No, say there's 10 pools and there's a hundred tokens and Tony had 20 set or Tony, let's say Tony had 50 X. Um, it would get 50 of the tokens and then the other 50 would go to all the other, all the other things. So, you people are incentivized to you know hold Tony um, mm -hmm. because they can stake it for higher APRs. Um, they can provide liquidity, um, also stake those liquidity tokens for very high APRs. Um, and the the Tony pools, they're all no fees. So um, all the other tokens, they have a, a fee um, for it's like a four percent deposit fee. So none of the Tony Tony token pools have that. So essentially, you can just keep compounding, compounding, compounding. You know, you don't you don't lose any any uh any money in fees um fee, the fees actually too they're like it's an interesting concept it's so like if you just give tony out to everyone who stakes you know there's basically no value to it so if there's no risk right. to a token there's there's no value so like you if you've always asked me about the fee they're like I'm like basically you need the fee so you don't have it you're just giving right. tokens away and there's literally no value to it the only time we we let people you know get tony without you know, risking something is if they're buying Tony or farming it and holding it and then farming with it. Um, that's, that's basically the Tony token though. No, and I appreciate you highlighting that because I think, I think there's value in discussing and highlighting the utility of a token on a platform, because let's face it, there's so many products out there that don't need a token, but have a token. And it seems oh, like, no. though, yeah, it seems like though in Daytona finance, Tony, plays a vital role in the, the 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 longevity of this particular product so i, I want to ask uh, in conjunction with tony i want to ask you about the farms and pools that exist on daytona because i know that you you brought up farms and pools before yep. so how do these farms and pools stand out yeah so we offer you know farm so let's we'll say let's we'll say farms is like you know when you when you take two tokens you go to pulse x you create a liquidity pair and then you get your your token so we call them farms so you take your lp tokens mm -hmm. you put them in the farms you gain yield the pools are the single side staking you just take a single token you don't get any impairment loss you stake it and you just gain yield um i'm sorry i'm sorry i lost you for a second what did you oh, say sorry <clears throat> sorry no yeah you uh you get yield. Um, okay. Sorry, I lost you for a second for some reason. I don't know yeah, what that yeah, was. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I, I want to ask... Oh, so, no, sorry. Yeah, I, I, I actually lost my turn of thought there. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, okay. We, we, basically, we basically offer like all the popular... We try and offer all the pop, like single size staking and farming for all the popular tokens on Pulse Chain. Um, so basically, I, I vet, you know... They, every every project that comes on there, I'm I'm looking, man. Like I'm big into the crypto and DeFi, um, and I'm looking for for interesting projects that come out. And when I see something, you know, interesting, I'm like, okay, this is cool. I, I I'm obviously gonna probably buy into it myself if I think there's gonna be opportunity there. But then I will, you know, I'll be like, okay, this is good. I'll I'll vet it. Okay, there's no, you know, maybe this thing doesn't look like it's gonna rug. Um, you know, prices have pumped too much. So like, if people go, if I drop a pool, people go buy it. They're not gonna get wrecked. Um. Yeah, then I'll, I'll add it there. Um, it, it helps grow our community because we, we, we grab other communities, you know, we, we bring them together. Um, cause everyone's, and then everyone's just coming to Daytona to get their yield and Tony. Um, but yeah, every, everything is voted. Uh, we try and every single popular token we try and put on there. So like we just added uh, TYRH, um, cool. which is, you know, w was very popular, you know, maybe two weeks ago. Um, but, you know, then there's, there's some stuff like, you know, for instance, I get, I get, asked ever, like so forever about PDI and like we're like why don't you have single size egg for PDI and like that one in particular is like it looks there's something very off to it but <laughs> with me so I've never added it because I just I don't don't want people to get wrecked so like whenever I add a token I'm always vetting it and I'm you know my users 
are always in mind. I'm like, okay, I don't, I don't want these people to, to, to buy something and they're going to get wrecked in. Um, I yeah, that, that, that's how, that's how we do our pools and our things. We, we also, I, I'll put a lot of stuff up for community votes too. You know, um, if someone, mm-hmm. someone brings something up and they want it, you know, we'll, we'll do a, a poll in telegram and people will, will bet or sorry, I'll bet they'll vote. And yeah. Absolutely. No, and I appreciate you highlighting that. And guys, before I go to the last question, I think there's 42 of you in here. Please consider going in the description. If you're, if you're interested in this particular platform, Daytona, I put the, um, I put the Twitter link uh, for Daytona Finance in the description. I also put the Telegram channel in the description if you want to learn more about Daytona Finance as well. So make sure to do that. Make sure if you're interested, make sure to follow those two links so you can learn more about this product particularly. And please make sure to like, share, and subscribe and consider donating to the channel through Super Chats. It does help the channel very much. So, um, yeah. So I guess my last question to you today, Slash, is – what does your roadmap look like for the rest of 2023? What are your plans for Daytona Finance? Where do you want to see Daytona Finance in the future? And what is your mm-hmm. um, what what's your goal? Yeah, so I have a, I have actually have a, have a ton of features um, planning to launch. You know, this fall, uh, winter, you know, Q Q4 of this year. Um, awesome. The first feature that we're going to be releasing, um, and I've told told a bunch of people about it. I haven't told all the details. I'll, I'll give them or some of them now, though. Uh, we're going to be launching a collection of NFTs. Um, nice. And these these NFTs are they're they're pretty cool. Um, so like, I'm 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 an AI engineer as well as a blockchain oh, engineer. So like, before I did the Tona, I was deep in AI and I was doing like um, creating models uh, to generate image imageries. Uh, now, I was deep into that, so I'm very, very good at it. Um, so I actually created uh, specialized models um, to create these these NFTs. Uh, you actually see one of them. If, you, if anyone who's been on the tone, on the main page, you'll see like there's this like weird, this cool looking image. There's a guy and a girl, and there's there's like a Pepe the Frog looking guy there. Like I generated that with a model that I trained uh, specifically for the tone of finance, and I can basically uh, do prompts and just generate, you know anything I want in that type of style. So all these NFTs are going to be very, very cool. They're not going to be like, you know, just like a monkey and they all have different hats or a different shirt. They're all going to be very unique. Um, and they're all going to have to do with, um, <clears throat> they're all going to be in the same style, but they're going to be very unique. And they're all going to have to do with different things with, with crypto. So you're going to see ones of Richard, you know, you'll see some of maybe Elon or Doge or just everything in crypto. Um, I think we're going to have about a hundred that's what I'm thinking right now. It's going to be a hundred collection. Um, and it's going to be different than a lot of the NFTs you saw before. So a lot of them, you just, you just went there, you click mint and you just got it. You just paid, you know, whatever. And you got it. Um, we're going to be doing a, an auction style um, sale of these. So uh, my, my plan right now is every three days, there's going to be a new Detona NFT come out. Um, and to buy one of these NFTs, you have to use Tony. The only way to get one of these is to use Tony and it's going to be auction. So it's like, you know, high, highest bidder, bidder wins and there'll be a countdown for three days. And at the end of the three days, whoever has the highest bid, they get, they get the NFT and all the Tony they bid for it gets burnt. Mm-hmm. So that's how we start removing supply from, you know, from, from the Tony with the Tony token. Um, and then these, these NFTs, they're, uh, I don't want to give it all away, but uh, they're they're integrated into the the Tono ecosystem a lot, and you know they're going to provide an incentive for users to hold them. Um, so they'll likely be highly sought after, um, and they're going to be rare, man. It's like you know, you know, it's every three days one comes out. There's not you know the markets are going to be flooded with them. You know, I hope to, to to just have these things releasing every few days until basically the bull run run comes out, and then maybe we'll do a you know a second version of it. Who knows? We'll we'll get there when we get there. But that is the feature I am going to be rolling out very soon. Um, I actually have it like honestly like seventy five percent done. It's it's pretty it's pretty much ready to go. But I, I I'm waiting to see a bottom on, on Pulse and Hex and the whole ecosystem. Like people are just really really down right now. Yes, um, true. And it's hard it's hard to sell NFTs if everyone lost all their money. <laughs> so yes, no, that, that's that's very true. So. Yeah, so um, I, I'm waiting for some type of turnaround. Um, I'm ho- hope I'm, I'm assuming we're gonna have one in Q4. Like we've been going, we were on a downtrend round for like what four months, man. It's like it, it doesn't go on yeah, go it forever. <laughs> it will eventually, and I'm I'm assuming it's gonna you know 
soon and I don't want to get price reduction. I, I think no, neither do I. Q4 I some, sometime, sometime, sometime in Q4, we will have at least some type of relief. Back. And that's when I plan God on willing. Uh, releasing these. And yeah, that in theory, you know, that should, you know, pull a whole ton of supply of Tony off the market. Um, Cause people are going to want these NFTs. Um, another feature we have coming out is a, a series of games. Um, so I have one of them done already. It's okay. actually, it's done. Um, it's gonna, that's going to come out after the NFTs though. Cause maybe, maybe the NFTs play a role in these games. Um, they're going to be just, uh, I don't know if you're like familiar with, like I'm kind of copying what uh, pancake swap does. So, you know, they had, they had I games. Have a, very... a little idea on what, what that is. Yeah. I have a little idea. Yeah. So like, Essentially, like I'm just trying to like gamify the whole thing. So essentially, there's going to be a game. Um, you know, it's it's some type of like probably a gambling dap. You know, and you're going to only use Tony. Um, and then you know, a percentage of this Tony that you're 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 wagering is going to get burnt. And then there's you know there's going to be a prize pool. And I don't want to give too much more away, but we have a game coming out. We have the NFTs. Um, and I also oh I also just got a a, a slick. Slick new UI um, passed over to me a few days ago by a, a UI designer in one of my circles. Um, mm-hmm. So Tony's going to get a full reskin. It's I, I literally have the, the files on, on on my computer right now. I just have to hook it up, and it looks it looks really 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 slick. Um, you'll see that coming as well. Um, that, that's basically what I want to do in a, a Q4 of this year. Is yeah, the cool. NFTs, the game, and the new UI. Awesome. No, and I appreciate you sharing that. And I appreciate you coming on today, uh, t- telling me and the audience about Daytona, the intricacies of it, the roadmap. So all, all I want to say to everyone in the chat, the 44 in, in here, make sure to go in the description, follow Daytona Finance on Twitter if you're interested in this product. Check out the Telegram as well if you're interested in learning more. And I want to say, Slash Dot, I appreciate your time. And, you know, as, as these products begin to roll, it, as these roadmap, roadmap, as these new features roll out, let me know, and you know, you, you know doors course. always open for you to come on, man. Okay. Yeah. No. Thanks for thanks for so much for having me here, and uh, you know, this is my first live stream. I think it was it, it was a success. Um, thanks there we again. go. Absolutely, guys. You guys be well. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to follow Slash Dot. Make sure to follow Daytona. Make sure to uh, check out the Telegram link for Daytona on uh, and all in the description. And thank you so much for coming, guys. You guys be well. Okay. Thank you. Be well, slash dot. Yeah, take care. Thank you. Thank you.